A tampon. Wow, we're using tampons in plants now, fantastic. Got a plant hacks video from 5 Minute Crafts. Let's have a look at what they've got. So it looks like we're starting off with an egg and a cactus. What could possibly go wrong? Let's have a look. So we're cracking an egg over a cactus. Don't understand why we're doing that. Is that the end of the hack? That's the end of the hack, I think. So why on earth are we cracking an egg over a cactus? That is just gonna be an absolute disaster. Fruit flies galore. Crazy. Got a great pot for replacement. Got some cork. Looks like little sand severias. You can find those in Ikea, I think. It looks like we're braiding them with some flower tape. Quite a nice little idea. I like that hack. Got a potato. We're making a little incision. Uh, is that a cactus? They always put plants in potatoes for some reason. And it magically grows and flowers like that as if the potato has some magic nutrient, but it doesn't really. Just put it into soil and it will be fine. Just give it nutrients in a balanced fertilizer. Got a Sansevieria, types of fertilizer, egg, sugar water, soy, soy in soil, an eggshell. So the eggshell, that's not gonna work because it's just literally just whole pieces of eggshell. They've plonked onto the top of the soil. The roots of that plant is not gonna access the additional nutrients from that. You need to blend it up into a powder, incorporate it into the soil, and then the plant has a chance to absorb the extra nutrients. I don't know why we're cracking an egg into soil like that. What's that gonna do? I guess they're saying the calcium is gonna help the plant, but all you're gonna get is loads of mold and fruit flies are gonna come in and have an absolute party on your plant. And then the soy sauce, doesn't soy have salt? And salt and plants don't really mix, so not sure about that. Got a cactus or some sort of succulent toothpick in the centre, because that's always healthy for a plant. Whoa! Look how they've picked up that that um, that cactus. No fear whatsoever. Amazing. Cutting the bottom off, and then is that glue? Have they glued that on somehow? Or was that some sort of aloe vera juice or something? So they've kind of melded the two plants together. I don't think that looks very good to me. If that, even if it does work, which I don't think it does, why would you do that? Why not just have two separate plants that look nice and grow happily as they normally would in the wild? So we've got a plastic bottle making some holes with that quite nice tool they've got there. Soil, some sort of seeds. Let's see what that was. A bit of a spray. Yeezy's Germinate Greens. And look at the way they're growing. They're growing perfectly into those holes. Amazing. They don't just grow out the top. They grow sideways into those holes perfectly. One in each. Miraculous. Terracotta pot. We're filling it with some soil. Egg pallet. What's egg pallet? Eggshells again. Little broccoli florets. The seeds. And I guess the only reason of that seedling is because of the eggshell in the soil that the seedling won't be able to access. Slightly misleading. So we've got a cutting of a rose bush. We've got a polystyrene, putting it through there and into water. Oh, I like that one. That's quite a nifty little way to propagate, a little propagation setup using polystyrene on top of water with the roots sprouting out. So I suppose that's a hydroponic setup they've got there. Quite like that, might copy that. Ginger, onion, what's the onion doing? After five days, there's a root. Is that because of the onion? I like that, easy way to transplant a plant. You got your pot, or well, you got your existing plant in its pot, put it into a larger pot and then fill soil around it. Compress it a little bit, lift it up, and there's a nice marker for you to then lift the plant out of his pot and put it in, it should be the perfect size, I like that. Broken stem, so we're making a brace. I like this, I've got this on my channel, my recent hacks video. What plant is that? Is that a banana plant? Mini banana plant, overwatered. What are we gonna do? A tampon. <laughs> tampon into the soil and it's gonna soak up all the excess moisture in the soil. Wow, we're using tampons in plants now, fantastic. A better way is just to get rid of the excess moisture at the bottom of the pot, 
or the saucer, should I say, discard that and let it dry out. That's fine. Don't need to worry about trying to get excess moisture out, moisture out of the soil. When you do water your plant, you need to saturate the soil, soil fully so you can't get it too wet. The problems occur is when you don't let the soil dry out the amount of times that you water. So don't worry about putting tampons in. Although it's quite funny. Got a little old lady with gray hair. She's dropping off a plant for someone to care for, it looks like, because it's dying. Hello, my name is John. John, please help. Don't look like John to me, look like Joan, if anything. Is that a rose bush? What are we gonna do to, rec to get this to recover? Cut notches out of. What's that? That's a succulent, that's a little mini echeveria into what looks like a rose bush. That's weird, why would you do that? Into the top of the stems, wrap it in that, it'll develop roots into the plant. Ugh, doesn't that look ugly to you? What an ugly monstrosity they have created. Looks like we're going away on holiday, judging by the outfit and the sunglasses. We've got a cat. Water the flower, okay. We're asking the cat to water the flower and it's not, it's not playing ball, that cat. Don't blame it. Oh, so we're doing like a little um, drip irrigation system, homemade. I've got this on my channel, one of my hacks videos. And this works quite nicely. I do set this up sometimes when I go away for a while. It will drip slowly into the soil. Pretty cool. Great minds think alike. Is that a coffee plant? Oof, don't like how that came out of that pot. Very peculiar. Wrapping it in some paper. Uh, ah, so this is a way to repot a plant without making a mess with the leaves. Quite like that. Quite a nifty little way to repot easily without having to worry about getting the leaves getting in the way. Done two of them. I like that hack. Got a sweet potato. Putting some toothpicks into it. I guess we're propagating it. Don't need to put it in water, just put it into soil. And it will do fine, that's what you can do with potato. Don't know why you need to mess around doing it like this. What is going on now? What's that? Looks like some sort of vine coming out of the sweet potato. Is that, is that what grows out of a sweet potato in that way? Strange. Put some cherry toms. Nice way to cut them in half, I like that. What we're we doing, scooping out the seeds. And then straight into soil with all the gloop. That's weird. You need to take the seeds out, give them the rinse, dry them, and then put them into soil. I think it's the gel coating around the seeds that prevents them from sprouting successfully. Got some rosemary. Interesting way to get rid of the lower leaves. Just pull them off, they're quite easy to pull off. That's not how that rosemary would grow. A propagated rosemary wouldn't grow like that. It would grow new shoots, and then that the one, the stem you use to propagate would die off. Looks like they cut a massive stem of rosemary and kind of pushed it through for the purposes of the camera. Milk. No, not the milk and soil solution again, please. Oof, look at the state of that. On top of the soil, pests and flies, they're gonna come straight away. It's gonna stink as well. Horrible. Don't do it. Natural fertilizer. How about just using fertilizer? Simple. Ice cream cone, of course, filled with soil with a seeding. Fill it with water. Why we got the ice cream cone, I have no idea. That seedling looks a bit fake to me. It's just gonna rot, degrade, and attract loads of pests. Doesn't say why we're using the ice cream cone. And a magic rose bush will appear. Broken bottle, filling it with soil. What are we doing with this? Kalankoe, some succulents. So we're making a succulent planter. The only concern there is that there's a slit down the side of it. When you water it, all that's just gonna come out and make a mess on your floor. Got some crocs, filling it with soil. Plant on top. This is very strange. What on earth is that? Crocs, what's one thing, one distinguishing feature of crocs? They have holes. So when you water that plant with soil, the soil and the water is gonna come out. It's gonna create a right mess on your nice carpet. 
So we've got some hair. I love hair on these sorts of channels. And we're just watering it. We're putting it on top of the soil when we're watering it. And we expect that to do something for the plant. No chance. It's not going to be biograded into the soil. It's not going to be available for the plant's roots. It's just going to do nothing. Rubbish hack. So we've got some bananas. Bake in the oven. Turn them black. When you bake something in the oven and it goes black, you've burnt it. And then burnt food is carcinogenic, which is not good for humans. You shouldn't eat burnt food. And I doubt it's good for plant soil. I think that's what they're going to do, probably. Yep, add it to the plant soil. Got a watermelon. Blimey, what a tool to cut open a watermelon. Fantastic. Cutting in half. How easy that was to get out. Soil. What are we doing here? Ficus elastica. Ficus elastica teneki into a planter made of watermelon. How long do you think that's going to last? A couple of weeks? Strange. Got a mango, mango seed. I think we're going to sprout this, are we? I've done this on my channel. Check it out. Bit of a different technique to the way I did it. I did it suspended over a glass of water. They did it in a wet kitchen towel. Got some red petals, rose petals, I think, in a pestle and mortar with some water to make some sort of solution into a pipette. What's this doing? Oh, oh, no, didn't like that. Didn't like that at all. So they're saying if you can make a solution in a pestle and mortar with some red rose petals with water, and you put that into the soil of a white rose bush, it's going to turn the roses red. It's going to change the colour. How highly doubt that's going to work. Let me know in the comments if I'm wrong on that, but that looks a bit suspect to me. And we've got a plum. Going to get the seed out, no doubt, and propagate. Oh. What? What? Why is it in an egg? Why is the seed in an egg? That's weird. Never seen anything like it. I mean, that's the most ridiculous one I've seen. Putting a seed in an egg into soil. What's that going to achieve? It's going to create an absolute mess. What a disaster. 